Patrick McNeil joined by Eagles defenseman Adam McCormick at the intermission. Adam, in researching for this interview, I went back and listened. This is, I think, the fifth or sixth time that I've interviewed you. How do you manage to keep answers fresh? Yeah, it's, it's always good getting the text from you. Kind of used to it now, the interviews with you. Yeah, they're always enjoyable. It's always an eye message right off my computer. We always like to talk about the off-season training. What did you do to get ready for the season? I was training in Fredericton at UMB with Taylor McDougall, me and a few other buddies. I was training up there four or five times a week and stuff of my own back at home as well. Of course, Taylor's a name familiar to fans here. He played here. Did you guys talk about the time in Cape Breton? Yeah, he said he enjoyed it here, loved it, and yeah, he loved UMB as well. So Yeah, and it's a bit of a tradition of Eagles players going there once their career in the queue is over. Of course, a big change in the queue this year in Cape Breton. New coach, Jake Grimes, Mark andre Dumont was your coach for three years, so not necessarily frequent we see a coach stay here that long. What's been the adjustment there? Is that tough to get used to somebody new? He's new, so you got to make good first impression. All the boys were trying to do that. Training camp went well. We've been getting used to our systems, and no, it's going well. Yeah, it's always interesting because coaches will always have different philosophies, so it's a bit of an adjustment for a player. Other than that, not just a new coach, but a lot of other things have changed in the last year. Erwin Simon comes in, new logo. Has it been an interesting time for you? You get used to the Eagles being the way they are, and then everything's kind of been blown up and restarted the last year. Times have definitely changed since I was 16. It's definitely exciting this year. It's a fresh start. We know what our team's capable of doing, and we're excited. Interesting dynamic on the blue line this year. There's eight defensemen, four 19-year-olds, four rookies. Have you talked with the other veterans and what your responsibilities are, and how's that playing out off the ice? Yeah, we know that four we need to lead the way. We need to set a good example. The four rookies we have, they're capable of a lot as well. We're just trying to lead the way for them, set a good example. Fans were very optimistic opening weekend when you get the four goals from the blue line in one game against Bathurst. What do you see as the expectations offensively for this defensive group? Yeah, that was good to see. Good to see the D do that. Up front, we're very strong as well. A lot of skilled players. No, it'll be very exciting to see what happens there. I know in the past you've had the chance to attend NHL camp. You went to Dallas. Didn't get a chance to do that this year. How much you use that as motivation in this season? Yeah, it was definitely something to take as a positive. I don't think you want to be negative about that stuff. Just see what you can do better. And no, it's positive. I know in the past, talking to you, you've mentioned that you've had an interest in other jobs outside of playing hockey, like being a coach or being an agent. Obviously, you're focused on your playing career right now, but have you learned anything about either of those jobs or any other jobs through your time playing in the queue? No, not really. It's busy. It's my fourth year. I'm pretty busy every day, but you never know after hockey's done. See what happens. You're a Woodstock guy, played your midget in Fredericton, if I understand correctly. you got a lot of guys coming in, getting adjusted to life on the road. Did you have to billet in midget? And if so, how has that experience helped you in Major Junior? Fredericton's an hour away from my hometown. I had to billet there as well. No, I'm definitely used to living away from home. My billets were great. Joel and Anna Hallett, still keep in contact with them here and there. Yeah, it's nice to see those connections. They get forged through the years. Something interesting happened earlier this month. Fans may not be aware of Probably saw it on social media. You guys went to Glace Bay and went into the coal mines. Tell us about that experience. It was definitely a cool experience. To see what they do and how they sacrifice and for their job every second of the day and every day they work so that was cool certainly a great work ethic in that profession doing some sleuthing on social media and i found that a few years ago you managed to land an autographed photo of eric carlson that was addressed to you tell us the story behind that i don't know how it happened but my dad got in contact with somebody in the ottawa organization and said eric was obviously my favorite player and no he signed it said to adam all the best and i keep it at my billet house in my room every day so it's cool that's yeah, a pretty great souvenir is he a player you model yourself after or maybe who are some other defensemen you like in the nhl yeah um, when i was younger i think i was definitely more of a style like eric carlson but i think times have changed once you get up to the qmjhl level or maybe like a keith yandel or someone in that style keith yandel fans who watched him in the cube remember because he was spectacular when he played did you see him play with moncton at all or that too young for you i think that was too young but no i've definitely heard good things how many numbers he put up lastly kind of hitting on what we just talked about how do you think you've progressed and developed as a player you see a lot of differences in yourself between 19 and 16. yeah i remember when i was 16 coming into training camp how nervous i was and uh, i with my parents on the drive down I was thinking about that coming into my fourth training camp here in Cape Breton and how times have changed definitely and now that I'm a leader I got to take advantage of that on the ice. Just Kevin Mandelise left from Adam's first year in Cape Breton. Well great insight as always. Adam thanks for joining us. Best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. That's Adam McCormick joining us at the intermission. You're listening to Car Star Cape Breton Eagles Hockey 1270 CJCB.